Hello everybody! Today it's really hot, I'm sweating and enough is enough and I will install air condition in our yurt and uh, do not listen, do not follow what I'm doing everything I'm doing is wrong if you can Correct me if I'm do if you see really I'm doing something wrong, please correct me. You can let me know. I can correct myself later on. But I have learned few things, a uh, few mistakes, ma ma mistakes that you can avoid if you be doing this yourself. So first of all, you will need two cables. One cable at least 2.5 and three cords another one is 1.5 will be enough but we need four cords we need live we need neutral and then we need this communication between this and this another external unit and then we need the earth so we need four can you see this we need four cords in one cable just to connect to the these two units together so they can communicate another cable in my occasion because uh, we are off grid and i'm using uh, batteries usually you will need like a switch also you will need uh, maybe a fuse but because we're using the system it's already protected the switch is like taking this off and everything is off, so I don't need a special switch. So this is the main cable. So these two cables we need four cords and three cords. Normal power supply only. 2.5, 1.5, just to give some electricity for the fan. And communication, that's all what it is. So yes, you need two different cables, that is important. So very simply, I'll show you how to connect this and also what I have learned recently if you have a bigger unit like this one is 4.3 kilowatts you will need thicker um, tube the copper copper pipe than in the smaller units so I have to spend another day going to the city and buy this copper pipe just because it was the wrong size that I have. Um, so, to get access to all this, basically you just lift this whole thing up. Do you want to come have a look closely? Then you will see this panel. Then we just unscrew one screw. We open this up. Then there is another protection cover. So we, another screw, we take this out, open this up and there we have it. So as you can see this is, this is the earth, this is our this communication cable and simply live and neutral. So it's very simple, there is nothing complicated to it. And only one cable comes here, this four cord cable. So if I put this through this other side you can have a look on other side what is happening see i've got the hole and then we going down this hole so what we've got we've got a pipe also which takes the condensation water out and very important here it cannot be raised up so the water won't go up you have to be going down and then we've got these two copper pipes what I was telling you about can you see this yes so this is pretty standard whatever size it is but this one is slightly bigger with the bigger units uh, so make sure you've got correct size of the pipes as they don't go don't come together and uh, and uh, and yes it can cost you time money and effort to go and change them so I'm just gonna put the cable through here I can 
So just here I try to poke it through. Can you see this? It's coming. Okay. Do you wanna record this from the side? So yeah, if you can give me any advice of you know how to do this stuff better, I always like to improve. So all your comments are very welcome. So have a look. Can you see this closely here? So so we're putting now the earth. Yeah. So that earth is coming in. Okay. Now we uh, let's put the communication, which is gonna be the uh, we're gonna put the use the gray. You know, even if you mix the colors, as long as it's the same here and in the unit, the external unit, you'll be fine. Make sure it's the same. Then live, we can put the brown. My wall is a little bit moving away from me because it's not fixed yet. We've got easy access to it. And now we can put the neutral. So, as you can see, I think it's very simple a job. Nothing too complicated. Everything of the power, of course. Make sure it's nice and tight so the cable doesn't come loose. Now we can just fix, mount this cable. See, there is nothing here in this unit apart from uh, attaching later on um, these copper pipes, which I will show you in a minute. That is very interesting as well. I like this. This is be a little bit complicated with this stuff. Can you see how I'm sweating? Just a bit. And it's not because I'm stressing out. It's only because it's really hot today. And, uh, and that's why we need this on. I was going to do it in the evening. I see, nice he went back now together. I was gonna do this in the evening, but I cannot wait. I want to chill out it's in the... It's already kind of evening. Like... Is it already? Yeah, yes. Okay, so this is nicely secured. Now here, in this model, we have also, as you can see, in the USB module, that is Wi-Fi. So we can connect to the internet and we can control through this app so you buy this separately simply put this in and that's it that should work but we'll check this later on we can put this cover up so this is the wi-fi unit Okay, so yes, from the electric side in this unit, that is pretty much all. So we can close this, and uh, as you can see, it's still warm. Uh, so we've got again these two pipes, which will come back to it. And also, I can give you another tip, don't worry, uh, when you undo this, if you hear, see, the air is coming, that means this unit is fully working, I mean fully working, it's fully um, sealed, uh, it means uh, that when you uh, put the, eventually the gas in, when you put the connection correctly here and there, uh, this unit for sure is sealed. So if the, you will lose the gas, it means you did something wrong here or there. So now we're dropping down the main supply cable, which is black. And then we've got this four cord cable here, which is white. We can drop it down and we go to the main unit outside and I show you what we need to do there which is simple also all this is very simple 
Okay, so let's go outside. It's a little bit cooler there, I think. So the unit here is see is quite a big, huge, nice and level. And we need to go under the yard. Ay, ay, ay. Now what we've got here? Uh, I need to grab the cable so you see all the pipes is coming. And cables from here. Now this is this is the water condensation outlet. This black one is our main supply and this white one here is a connection for to connect to this unit. <coughs> Sorry, I try to make it a little bit more maybe simple. So again with the black uh, this is main supply, so this have to be 2.5, at least three cords. So we've got earth, we've got life, and we've got the neutral. And this is the connection cable, which we're gonna use here, all these ports. Neutral, life, this communication, and earth again. And that pretty much the electricity will be done. So let's start from the neutral. The neutral here will be black. So okay, so it's important to do the same thing like we did on the top, on the internal unit. So neutral is the first here. Then we have life, which is brown. Then we have this communication, which is grey. So they can talk to each other. And then we've got the earth. And as always, make sure they're all nice and tight as we don't want loose wires that is nice and tight cool now we can put this cable holder and that is over here one there one here As you can see, uh, I like to repeat myself, but it's very simple. It's not difficult really, uh, if you've got the simple knowledge of, you know, neutral earth and life, where they have to go together. And that's it. So we've got electrics connected. Now we will do the most scary bit, which is the pipes and here again you see the small pipe goes here and then the slightly thicker goes here you don't have to be worried to open this basically this unit is filled up already with gas uh, so you can easily undo this connect your pipes and then you open with these two valves this one is to Take the air out uh, or add gas if you need it in the future. So again, it's pretty much simple. You don't have to be scared to open these two. You do not touch those. Only when we connect these two tubes here and up, then we can open these valves and that will take the gas into the system all the way around. And then we can switch the power on and it should work. That's all what it is. So now I will show you when this is done. I'll show you what you need to do, what tools you need to do to be able to connect these two pipes. Okay, so important tools. This kind of like a cleaner. 
like this, show you how it works. Then cutter, adjustable, so you can cut nice pipes. And then we need this tool, whatever it's called, to make this I don't know, shank or how they call it uh, in the tube to be able to to put the nut in and uh, make nice and uh, seal connection and this is the mistake how this this is the mistake mistake it wasn't mistake it wasn't lack of knowledge so you see usually you have this type of lines and i don't know which one is this 3.8 at three three eighths i think uh, this one or something like this i don't know it doesn't matter numbers are doesn't matter for me uh, Basically, with the smaller units, you've got these two types. And then, fortunately, with the bigger unit, I, can you see this close? Can you see the difference? So you see this is one and a half inch thick. And this goes to much bigger, uh, much powerful uh, air condition. So usually you have this, but then sometimes in the bigger air condition, they use bigger pipes so you have to be aware of that what pipes you're using and I think the small one the thin one always is the same but maybe I'm wrong so uh, how to pro uh, how to make this thing here you unroll gently your your pipe at least the bit Then we can put the insulation at least one. Later on we can put exactly how many we need depends of the length of this uh, pipe. Okay, and now always do a nice and clean cut. You know, buy a nice cutter, and especially in these pipes because they're very thin, very thin. Can you close to this? I like to just gently uh, squeeze. And then again, don't go too, don't go too crazy. I should go this way, I think, no? Which way I should go. See, I already did like five lines. I'm not happy with this, I'm gonna cut it again. Now it's one line. Okay, you see? Cut, 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 and then you keep doing this until you feel... Why is there in these three lines? Until you feel... That it goes nice and easy. Then you tighten it up again a bit. Do two, three, four turns, and then a bit. Don't, don't try to cut it too quickly, basically because you might squeeze too much. So you take your time on this. It's worth it, trust me. I'm not an engineer. <laughs> See, and again. Feel it goes nice and easy tight it again see and it comes off now see how nicely that is cut and as you can see 
here. We need to get rid of this crap. So inside have to be like uh, beveled, cleaned off. So make sure also you keep the pipe down when you do this, so you don't put only this crap inside. So you clean this. Yeah, you see, it's nice and clean. Can you see this here? That is very important. And then also very important is to put this nut because later on you won't be able to put it in. You can put the nut away. Now we need to choose what is this one and a half. So we need to use the bigger one. Three quarters, one and a half is here. So with this you have to lock this pipe. See so you've got two sides, one is flat. So where you've got this bevel, you need to be on the side of the end of the because you've got on different sides. So it's square and beveled. So the bevel have to be on the end of the tube. See, and then make sure it's nice and level with this two. Doesn't stick out too much. Then we tie this up. Okay, can you see this? Sticking out maybe half of a millimeter. Tie this up nice and tight. And then we will use... Uh, what is this? No, that's too small. That's too small. Yes, first I will use this end, so you change here, and again, this is the most important bit, so make sure you have plenty of time to do this. So you lock this up here on this tool, and then make sure you find this center, nice and easy and gentle. And then slowly you start to squeeze this in. Don't go too crazy. That should be enough to start with. You see already what it did? Beautiful spread. And then we change this bit again to finish off with this. So you have to go, as you can see, it didn't go all the way in to the edge, but it pushed out from the inside and now we're going to stretch this all the way where it should be. Again, find the center and then to start to go for it. And you go. Pretty strong. And what's happened? Now we can check what's happened. Look. See the difference? What we did with this pipe? And make sure inside here, because that's going to hold tight you know, the, the pressured gas is going to be hot and warm, hot and warm. And now this, you see, is nicely sitting where it should. And then, see, happy with this? That should be good enough. Very good, happy with this. So, that's one. 
and then you do the same thing on this little one this is even more fun I cut it this yesterday and cleaned so we can go straight with this so basically I'm not gonna bore you with this and um, you do exactly the same then we're gonna when it's already like this we're gonna connect first to the internal unit and then I will cut the pipes where I need to and then I do the same thing on another end and then we're gonna connect to the external unit and then finger cross we have no leakage and then the power on and we have a nice cool evening <laughs> so yeah let's do this And you, you see we are doing this thin pipe so that big pipe was half inch and this one is one and quarter if you're asking yeah one and quarter and the other one I don't know what it is I can check if you want so yeah you go with this see different uh, end And you just go by the eye, you know, whatever fits best, really. That's why I'm saying you don't need to know. First one is half inch and the second quarter inch. Quarter inch. Yes, one quarter, yes, one fourth. This is quarter, correct. I said something different? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you say, it's important what you do. So again, slowly, see, not too much force, when you start to force a bit now, you stop, go back, see we already have this nice shape, and then we will finish off with this bigger one, again, this is exactly the same for all. Yeah? Make sure it's nicely in the center. And now all the way in. That's it. Sweaty hands and slipper. I cannot do it now. Ugh. You see this? Beautiful. Beautiful. And if you see if you see here any lines, that is not good. Do it again. It has to be nice and lovely and shiny. Then you have perfect connection. You will never have issue with any gas, you know, loss or whatever. Because if you lose gas, this is the most important thing. If you lose gas, then your air condition is not gonna work. And if it holds up for one month and then you lose gas, that's not good. So make sure this is nice and beautiful. And, and this tool is very important because if you don't clean inside, uh, when you do this, you will find there is like kind of lines and it will never be uh, nicely sealed. So I think this is very, very, very important. Look, <gasps> and I did this mistake, you see, I told you not to do it, look. You see what I've done wrong? Remember? What? You didn't put the screw on. Then not. No. But I love, I really love doing this. I could put from another end, but I love to do this job so much that I'm happy to do it again. How about that? And become a master with this then we can take this and put uh, behind the glass to show how it needs to be done you know always is good to practice right practice practice makes you the what perfect. yeah the perfection Yeah, because it wasn't here, I already forgot. 
But you see, it's very easy. It's very easy to 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 forget. You see, now it's not a big deal whatsoever. A more big of a deal is when you do this mistake, and your pipes is already cut to size. So it's always to have this tube a little bit longer than you need to, just in case like this things happen. If you want, I can show you. If you don't use this tool, I will show you how uh, this will look like. So first I clean this, again, make sure it's now. So nothing goes back in. Okay, I go, I go get the nut now first. You will find the nuts are in the back and the other nuts are in the main uh, external unit if you're looking for them. So again, make sure you put them in first and then forget about it. Um, so I quickly do this again, quarter inch. This has to be flush, but I like to leave it just a little bit. Walking through a bit, not too much. Like half of that. And I'm going to change it a bit. And you see, every time you do it, you can better, faster. Never start from fast. And now the young was saying everything fast. And then I have to do it quickly, fast again. <laughs> so now I try to do fast and slowly. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing this a bit small first. Nice and easy. It will find its place. That's it, not too much. I said not too much. See, already went a little bit too crazy. Is that good? I hope. If not, then you're going to have to do it again. Now we're going to finish off with this bigger one. I think that should be good. Let me see. Something there or not? I think it should be okay. Yeah, it's sitting nicely. Yeah, I think it should be good. Okay, so these two are done. And then I'll show you with this. You see, I did not clean it with this tool. So this tool, I think, is very important. And let's see what's going to happen if we don't clean it. And then you don't have to Check, you will know that you have to use it. Okay, now I'm going to change this bit again. These tools are not too expensive, so don't worry, you're not going to spend loads of money. And always it's good to have tools. You never know when you need them. Yeah, so get to this point where you... Not too much force of the first one. The second one, the second one, because it cannot go anywhere anymore. I put a little bit more force with this one here. Oops. Come on. And already you can see the difference. Some scratches, but doesn't look too bad. I remember the first time when I was doing it without this tool, it was looking horrible. Okay. Actually it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good still. I don't know how this has happened, but it looks good. See? So maybe you can get away with it. Like I said, first time when I was doing this, uh, it was bad. And when I started using this, it was so much better. So like, again, I want to show some something, you know, it won't happen, but I still will recommend to use it, this. Now, let's put the pipe from inside, from outside, in, screw them in, and then we do the same job on the external unit, and soon maybe we can cool down. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we um, do this, and this is this is this is no gas. This isn't a gas, so don't worry about a thing, because the gas is pre-charged, but in the um, 
in the in the external unit. So now, so it's very good if you've got this pressure. It means you know this internal unit holds well and is no leaking. Now this is the most important. Okay. okay. Now we can undo the second one. So really you have no contact with the gas if you're doing everything correctly. Okay. Now I can put this back in. It's nice and shaped where it see, sits nicely, and then you put the nut. Lovely. Now we need to tidy it up. Of course, they say says say in the book what force you need to put in, and it's very important. I agree with them, but. I don't have that tool, so I have to go with my feelings. So you have to tie this up strongly, but not over, do not overdo it. Because if you overdo it, you can be... It's not correct. <laughs> oh, I like that. I think that should do. Now this. Maybe it would be easy if you have different uh, tools to tie this up. Whatever you've got available. And I like that. Okay. And also, later on, I will put all the insulation up, like so, and then cover all this with the insulation. But I will listen if I can hear any leakage when I open the gas, and then I put the insulation. So not, not just yet. Now we can do exactly the same for the external unit. And as you can see, it's a little bit hot. So I need to do this job correctly. So we will have a nice and cool place. So now we are outside and we don't really use much tube, which is good. Probably what is there, one meter, two meters, two and a half meters, let's say three meters. Uh, what I will do, I cut with a little bit extra because then I need to bend it to come here uh, so if I cut a little bit extra then I can maybe cut it twice if I forget to put the you know this what this nut and you see here on this nut says 12.7 or 12.1 but this is a quarter of the inch, so maybe this is millimeters, 12.7 millimeters or 12.1, so that's what it is. Yeah. So let's cut first. So we are very close, very close. And if you are interested also, we are using a 
for our electricity two system one is Bluetti Bluetti AC 200 max uh, which give us maximum 2200 or something like this watts of power and then we have a uh, EcoFlow Delta Pro which give us 3600 watts of power and uh, I want to keep the uh, which one is the first one I said? I just said Bluetti. I want to keep it here, so I'm hoping the Bluetti can run this unit because it's supposed to take about maximum 1400 watts, so it should be easy achievable. If not, then we're gonna have to support it with the EcoFlow, but we'll be interested to see how. Uh, is coping, you know, this uh, off-grid system with the air condition. Okay, let me change this bit again. I did not clean it. You see, I'm talking and thinking about everything else. It looks good. Shall I cut it again? See, I forgot again about the step. Quick, quick, quick. Always quick. Sometimes you can lose yourself by doing this quick, quick, quick. Ah, what about the nut? Now the nut? First. What? Just on time. Nearly forgot for the second time. Come on. You know what? I don't want to do it again, but he's telling me, do it again, do it again, just to make sure it doesn't cost you that much, and I will do it again, because it's, I'm not quite right, it looks like, kind of like a split inside, it's not completely rounded, it's not just, it's just not perfect, and this is where things can go wrong, and this is the only thing can go really wrong, that's why, if you see that this shape is not quite right you know take your time and do it again and i think you can win you know it maybe would work but better be safe than sorry because you've got only, it's not that you can fill it up, fill it up again with water. If it's wrong, and that's it, it's not good. Clean this first. We need to bend these two pipes. So go nice and easy with it because you don't want to break it and it's good see I show you give me this camera you always make sure, I think this is very important also, you see, without the nut, you add, you, when you bend it, you see, if it comes like this, that's not good. So you have to bend the pipe, so it basically comes 
nice and straight. Like this is not very straight. So hold this. I try to bend it a little bit more. See like this. You see it's just perfect, look. You see? I have to come perfect. And then you can tie this up. Lovely. And then we need to do the same thing with this one here. How much is it easier to bend? You don't want to go too crazy, too sharp with it. And again, make sure that this is just on the perfect angle to each other. Like so. And then you can screw it in. See, it's already holding nicely. Now you just need to tidy it up. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Now we can open for the first time these tubes and hopefully they will not leak. So let's be quiet and see what's happened. Maybe we can open the big one first. Oh, stay. Ah, what's that? Whoops. Uh -huh. There is a Allen key inside that you need to turn. And I forgot about this, but this is only like a cover. So we need to find an Allen key. This is only a cover. Nothing else. Well, you see this? and you open undo this and then you will hear it's coming all the way up and then yeah hopefully we will be running I'm gonna find the Allen key first okay I found the Allen key and now I'm opening now so now we can listen of the music coming through the pipes Quiet there? Quiet. That's what we want to hear. Quiet. Now the top.
up one. How far I need to open. I don't want to open too far so it doesn't jump out on me. <laughs> that would be funny. And now we can close this. And guys, we are ready. We are ready. We are ready to start this machine. How about this? Then we need to put this cover up also. But I will put this later. First, let's check it if the unit will start. Okay, we are back in. Let's take all this off and this off. Can you see anything else? No. And this off. This company is actually, what's the name? What? Hire. Yeah, that's the hire. Now, this is our Delta Pro. We are pretty much fully charged. And then we will put this. I switch first the AC off. And let's put this cable here. This is our supply. And then, and then let's, oh, what I did, AC back on, it's taking some power, no, it's lighting up here, it's moving, wow, it's moving, it's moving, see, so it means the electric is good, input consumption of power doesn't show much, now can you hold this, hold this, hold this, can you see us? We need, as you can see this is not a joke, this is all brown spanking new. We've got remote control, we'll figure out later on how the Wi-Fi works. But first let's switch this on and see if we succeed or not. And have nice and cool air. <laughs> I'm so happy. Look, on. On. 26 degrees. And it was surprising that I was sweating. 31 now. 31? It's getting hot. So, where we are? Smart. Cool. Cool 24. Let's put on 20. And see what's gonna happen. Now it's showing 31 again. Yeah, the temperature what it is now. Uh -huh. So it went back. Let's go outside and see if the if the manure need works. Running. Running, 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 running. Is that on? No? It's not on, it's not moving. It's not moving, no? Why? I don't know why. The vent, huh? The vent is not moving at all. Okay, let's go back. See so back. Aha! Now it is. Wow! So it's on. So it took a bit of a time. Woohoo! And how much is taking? Output: 500 watts only. 600. Less than 600. Can you see this? This is what is coming out. Aha! Wow, okay. 
Look, it's already showing uh, 29. Now we can do a quick test and touch this pipe. Oh! No, that's cold, not hot. It's freezing cold. And this one is warmer. So, so it's coming cold with the small one, coming back with the big one. And it's working, it's working, it's working. Aha! It's got the power. Huh? It's got the power. You've got the power? <laughs> it's working! It's working! It's working! It's working! How about that? You can do it yourself! Everybody can do anything! Woohoo! <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> we have to dress up now with some jackets and stuff <laughs> so it don't freeze to death. But this temperature that is showing 29, what is this about? What is it showing? What it is here? Yes? Yes, you see what it is. So when it's gonna... Yes, it's already, you see, it's 29. It was, to, what, 20, 30? 31. 31, so already two degrees went down. Mm. Wow, incredible it's feeling. Can you smell this freshness? Brand spanking you. <laughs> and it's consuming now 700, look, it's consuming more now. 784 watts. So you see, this is... Little bit mess, excuse my mess, oh, fuck that. This is this is our EcoFlow Pro and there is the Bluetti. Bluetti, you see. Uh, AC 2000 Max, but only if got 2000 uh, watts, but we've got extra battery with 3000 uh, 3k capacity so together we've got 5k capacity but I will see if it doesn't extend much you see now it's taking 800 watts if it keeps you know in around 1500 then we can use Bluetti otherwise we will use this one but so far so good 28 now it was 29 right well, it's very strong it's very strong <laughs> A <laughs> good machine! Incredible! And it's quiet! Yeah. And we cannot hear this, ad and it's working like, you know, it's blasting the air. Can you hear this? Outside? Outside. But yeah. here? Not inside. No, inside no, but you can hear outside the outside. Room. Yeah, yeah, let's go outside and check it out how, you know, how loud it is. Check it out. Uh -huh. Yeah, can you hear that? So it's making nice noise. A bit of the noise, but yeah, it should be good. And where the air is pulling over there, let's see. Oh. Okay, so it's pushing the air this way. Uh, under as you can see everything is flying a bit but it's I don't know is good or bad uh, maybe it's not too bad that is pushing inside instead of outside let me know in the comments down below if if it's good that is pushing under the the platform we should go outside the platform really uh, but it's hidden from the sun it's hidden from the water so pretty much from the wind uh, so it should be pretty good this is if you would like to know a little bit more about this unit some information and yes so we should be we should be it's getting warm here I wish they have some protection here. They have no protection whatsoever. So, yes, we managed to achieve that. Thank you so much for watching. Please... Um, if you like, like and subscribe. Give me some comments. Uh, we will do some more fun stuff here. So much more stuff. We only starting. All is new for me. So excuse all the, you know, unprofessionalism. But I'm doing my best. 
and uh, and yeah we can only improve together and uh, all best hope you are well and until next time ciao